Hey, good day. Jeff Howells here with Howells Carpet Cleaning. I thought that, that right now would be a good time to discuss a little bit about vacuum cleaners. Um, here, you know, side by side with my Kirby, I also have this, this Shark, which is your uh, pretty typical standard, you know, household vacuum cleaner that most people have. Um, a couple of differences that you'll know right away between the two. Um, look at the the Kirby here, you have the ability to raise and lower the height to which the vacuum actually sits on the carpeting. If you look at the Shark and probably 90% of your uh, household um, vacuum cleaner systems, they do not have an option to raise and lower your carp, the vacuum. Um, they basically, they just kind of float there on top of the carpeting and are very, uh, less aggressive so that you're not destroying your carpet piling where this Kirby can be quite a bit more aggressive because it has the option of of raising and lowering and therefore the motor is much much stronger because you you know there's some potential for damage there whereas the shark and most of your other vacuum cleaners are probably are, are, are most likely, you know, uh, I, I want to say like a one size fits all so that, you know, you it's kind of safe for everybody to use without um, accidentally causing damage. So, um, taking a look around, these carpetings in this this area in here and in the, the bedrooms and hallway around here, we're pre-vacuumed with the uh, Stark vacuum cleaner, but uh, I, you know, to be able to ensure a thorough job, I do walk through and, you know, pre-vacuum with my uh, Kirby vacuum cleaner here. And the vacuum cleaner bag, without opening it up and making a mess, um, is 20 to 25% full just from re-vacuuming the area which was already vacuumed. Now um, some key points of interest in a house you know that really need to be vacuumed is this transition area right here. The door and any doorway where there's a transition area it's a you know a collection you know a place where dirt is most likely to, to collect and making sure that this is area is thoroughly vacuumed all the time as you notice here there isn't really any traffic pattern set in which is pretty amazing so they obviously did a pretty good job of keeping this place vacuumed most of the time but as dirt comes in that's what generally causes the the wear patterns to begin to sit in which may permanently damage the carpet it's seen you never know um the other transition areas are also like in the kitchen is a good one. Another good place to vacuum is wherever I'm guessing they probably had a couch here. I really don't know, but those are, you know, wherever there's a couch or a chair, you know, possibly over here. Um, those are another good transition areas, you know, to, to uh, keep vacuumed as vigorously as possible just so that, you know, you're not causing wear and tear on the carpeting.